Hey everyone, I'm Travis Spivey, joined my son, Florian Spivey. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our science tutorial videos. In our last video, we covered the three types of gene mutations. So in today's video, we will identify and explain the four types of chromosome mutations and how to use karyotypes to analyze chromosome mutations. So let's do this. Our learning targets for today are number one, I can identify and explain the four types of chromosome mutations. Number two, I can explain how mistakes in crossing over during meiosis can lead to chromosome mutations. And numero tres, I can analyze karyotypes to determine if there are any abnormalities or structural problems within chromosomes. Like we stated in our last video, there is a change in only a single gene with gene mutations, but there is a change in the whole chromosome with chromosome mutations. For more on gene mutations, check out our video link above. Now let's get back to chromosome mutations. Chromosome mutations are potentially more dangerous than gene mutations because they can be swapped and transferred to their parent's child. When a chromosome mutates, whole sets of genes are altered versus one gene. Chromosome mutations can cause Klinefelter syndrome, Turner syndrome, Down syndrome, and several other mutations because of a change in the whole chromosome. In today's video, we will break down the four types of chromosome mutations, which are deletions, translocations, inversions, and duplications. One major way scientists are able to properly analyze chromosome mutations is through the use of karyotypes. A karyotype is an individual's collection of chromosomes. The term also refers to a laboratory technique that scientists use to take a picture of an individual's chromosomes called karyotyping. Important fact. The first 22 pairs of chromosomes in a karyotype are body cells. The first pair will be the largest chromosomes and the smallest will be the 22nd pair of chromosomes. The last or 23rd pair of chromosomes shows the sex of an individual. An X and an X if it is a girl and an X and a Y if it is a boy. Remember, humans have 46 chromosomes in all. Our chromosomes come in pairs, one from our mom and one from our dad in each pair. So we have 23 pairs of chromosomes in all. In a normal karyotype, we have 23 pairs of chromosomes in all. In abnormal karyotypes, a chromosome is usually missing or there are too many chromosomes. So instead of the normal 46 chromosomes, there can be too many or too few chromosomes in chromosome mutations. Scientists analyze karyotypes to look for abnormal number or structures of chromosomes. In today's video, we will analyze the karyotype of the different chromosome mutations as we follow along. Before we dive into chromosome mutations, let's talk about the cause of chromosome mutations, which is through non-disjunction. Non-disjunction is the failure of paired chromosomes to separate during cell division, either in mitosis or meiosis. In normal circumstances, 23 chromosomes come from my mom's egg and 23 chromosomes come from my dad's sperm. These chromosomes pair up, exchange genetic material, and divide in a process called crossing over. During crossing over, part of one chromosome is exchanged with another. The result is a hybrid chromosome with a unique pattern of genetic material. This is what leads to more genetic variety in humans and all other sexually reproducing organisms. But sometimes the chromosomes partially or don't separate at all after crossing over occurs and this is what causes non-disjunction. When non-disjunction occurs, both chromosomes go to one daughter cell and none go to the other because of their failure to separate. Non-disjunction causes errors in the number of chromosomes such as trisomy 21, known as Down syndrome, or monosomy X, which is Turner syndrome. Both of these syndromes are caused by non-disjunction, which again is the failure of chromosomes to separate during mitosis or meiosis. We'll discuss Turner syndrome later in the video, but for now, let's discuss Down syndrome, also known as trisomy 21. It's a genetic disorder caused by the presence of all or part of a third copy of chromosome 21. It is usually associated with physical growth delays, mild to moderate intellectual disability, and characteristic facial features. Let's take a look at the karyotype for Down syndrome. If you notice, there are two chromosomes for all the other pairs of this karyotype except for pair number 21. This means instead of having 46 chromosomes like a normal individual would have, this person has 47 chromosomes. Now let's think about the word trisomy 21. Tri stands for the number 3 and there are 3 chromosomes on the 21st pair of chromosomes instead of 2 so that's why we call it trisomy 21 for Down syndrome. Now let's take a look at deletion mutations which is the same in chromosome mutations as it is in gene mutations. But the difference now is that instead of one nucleotide base getting deleted, 
Whole sections of nucleotide bases get deleted during chromosome mutations. This means genes are being removed and almost always having a huge impact on an individual. When parts of chromosomes are missing, a number of syndromes can occur. These syndromes are called chromosomal deletion syndromes. They tend to cause birth defects and limited intellectual and physical development. In some cases, genetic defects can be severe and children that are affected by this can die during infancy or childhood. One of the most notable examples of this is Turner Syndrome. Turner Syndrome is a condition that affects only females and results when one of the X or sex chromosomes is missing or partially missing. Turner Syndrome can cause a variety of medical and developmental problems including short height, failure of the ovaries to develop, and heart defects. This is all caused by the deletion of parts or all of the chromosome on the 23rd pair of chromosomes. Let's take a look at the karyotype for Turner Syndrome. Notice how there are 22 pairs of chromosomes for the first 22, but if you look at the 23rd pair, there is only one chromosome. Remember, X is a female and Y is a male, so the gender will be female, but the missing X is what leads to Turner Syndrome and its accompanying condition traits and characteristics. Next, we have translocations. A translocation is a type of chromosome mutation where part of the chromosome breaks off and reattaches to another part of the chromosome. The most common example of translocation mutations is Robertsonian translocation. Robertsonian translocation is a chromosomal abnormality wherein a certain type of chromosome becomes attached to another as a result of non disjunction and it's the most common form of chromosomal translocation in humans affecting one out of every 1,000 babies born. One example of this is translocation down syndrome. This occurs when part of chromosome 21 breaks off and attaches to another chromosome during meiosis and meiotic cell division. This causes translocation down syndrome because there are now three copies of chromosome 21 just like in down syndrome. This type of mutation has a lot of the same symptoms as the most notable form of Down syndrome such as distinct facial appearance, intellectual disability, developmental delays, poor muscle tone, and several other symptoms. Let's look at the following karyotype for Robertsonian translocation Down syndrome. If you notice, part of chromosome 21 broke off and attached to chromosome 14 which now gives us three copies of chromosome 21 and leads to Down syndrome. Now let's take a look at duplication chromosome mutations. Duplication mutations are exactly what they sound like, which are a type of chromosome mutations that involves the production of one or more copies of a gene or region of a chromosome. Affected individuals may have intellectual or learning disability, developmental delay, slow growth leading to being abnormally short, and weak muscle tone. Most people inherit this disorder from a parent. One example of this is MECP2 syndrome. MEPC2 duplication syndrome is a condition that occurs almost exclusively in males and is characterized by moderate to severe intellectual disability. Most people with this condition also have weak muscle tone and emphasis, feeding difficulties, poor or absent speech, or muscle stiffness, also known as rigidity. MECP2 duplication syndrome is caused by a genetic change in which there is an extra copy of the MECP2 gene in each cell. The extra copy of MECP2 gene is caused by a duplication of genetic material on the long Q arm of the X chromosome. Our last type of chromosome mutation is chromosome inversions. An inversion is a chromosome rearrangement in which a segment of chromosome is reversed end to end. An inversion occurs when a single chromosome undergoes breakage and has a 180 degree flip rearrangement within itself. Genetic material may or may not be lost during this inversion. One of the most notable examples of chromosome inversion is the disease known as hemophilia. Hemophilia is a medical condition in which the ability of the blood to clot is severely reduced, causing the sufferer to bleed severely from even a slight injury. When blood can't clot properly, excessive bleeding externally and internally occurs after any injury or damage. Symptoms include many large or deep bruises, joint pain and swelling, unexplained bleeding, and blood in urine or stool. Hemophilia mostly affects males because males do not have an extra copy of an X chromosome as a backup. It is very rare in females since there is an extra X chromosome as a backup. Hemophilia is caused by chromosomal inversions that involve a portion of the blood coagulation factor 8 gene that encodes one of the key enzymes in blood clotting to be inverted. This leads to weak blood clotting and causes it to take longer than normal for blood to clot for an individual with hemophilia. And that's our video for today. Now it's such an to see how proficient you are with identifying and explaining the four types of chromosome mutations and analyzing karyotypes for chromosome mutations by taking our video quiz. Use your electronic device to scan the QR code at the bottom right of the screen or you can click the link in the description box below the video to take the quiz. 
Remember, 80% are higher for proficiency. Record your results in your proficiency sheet. And if you don't get it the first time, you better keep going because it's not over until you win. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also click that bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our awesome videos. Peace and have a positive, productive day.